In this video, I'm gonna give you my personal opinion of the top five pros and cons of purchasing a home from Lennar Homes. Lennar is the second largest home builder in the United States, offering a plethora of different floor plans and even master plan communities. In the last two years, a lot of builders have had a very hard time during the pandemic and how they operated in the Charleston Tri-County area. A lot of builders had issues, but Lennar changed how they were even selling their new homes. That being said, I get the question all the time about, hey Ryan, would you buy a Lennar home? Would you buy a DR Horton home? Would you buy this builder or that builder? So in this video, I wanted to really break down my personal opinion of the top five pros and cons of buying a Lennar home. I will also tell you at the end of this video if I would personally buy a Lennar home. So be sure to stay to the end and I'm getting after all this information right now. Hey everyone, my name is Ryan McHugh and welcome to this channel, a channel dedicated to everything about living in or moving to Charleston, South Carolina. If you want to know more about eating, working, living, socializing, and even shopping in Charleston, well, I highly recommend subscribing to my channel and clicking that notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, will you get notified. I love helping people get to know Charleston and everything it has to offer. If you have any questions about moving or relocating here, give me a call, text, or email. Just reach out. I'm getting calls and texts and emails every single day from many people who are just like you, looking to buy a home here in the Charleston, Somerville area. If 2020 or even 2021 taught us anything, you can definitely move out of your state if you're not happy. And I'm gonna guess some people in New York and California right now are not happy, not happy campers at all. And let's be honest, Florida, Florida's too hot, man. Let's, South Carolina, that's where it's at. All kidding aside, buying a Lennar home can have its benefits and its caveats. And in my opinion, these tips can save you a ton of time, headaches, and most of all, money. Pro number one, great priced homes. It's a no brainer that Lennar homes stand out. Their prices are competitive for this market and the amount of square footage, bedrooms and bathrooms, if you're someone who enjoys the idea of a new construction home, not a ton of bells and whistles, and you don't have to pick anything out because their designers pick out all the options for these homes now. So it's like buying a new pre-owned home. Pro number two, warranties. Lennar includes a warranty program that makes it easy to submit issues with your home. They give you a one year bumper to bumper warranty. Make sure you schedule this before the 11 month point. If it goes past the one year, they will not come back. So um, just make sure that, you know, at that 10, 11 month point, when you know you're getting ready for those, those nail pops, the wall touch ups, things like that, you wanna make sure you give them a call and get that scheduled. That's very important. Pro number three. Modern floor plans. No matter what, a great floor plan will sell a home fast. Lennar offers what I would consider more modern floor plans. I'm not sure about that. You're never sure about anything, Siri. You're interrupting me now. <laughs> what Lennar offers is, like I said, what I would consider more of a modern floor plan, less useless spaces. Their designs and layouts to their homes are appealing across the board, painting a very broad brush of people, but it, it appeals to a lot of different people. Empty nesters, first time home buyers, you, you get what I'm saying. I actually love their Conyers floor plan. I mentioned it in one of my other videos. I have another video where I actually tour Summer's Corner and show off some of their more modern floor plans that you'll find. But without the ability to customize the homes now, or any more for that matter, I should say, I mean, you used to be able to pre-pandemic, but now there is no customization. Um, so that would be something that would not probably work for my family dynamic, but let's see by the time we get to the end of this video. Pro number four, in-house lending and incentives. Lennar also owns Lennar Mortgage, formerly Eagle Mortgage, and offers buyers an opportunity to strictly work with their lender and preferred attorney. 
Besides offering standard interest rates, they will also offer some sort of incentive to not only get you to use their lender, that incentive can be anything from $4,000 to $20,000. It really comes down to what home and how incentivized the sales team is to move that particular home. Pro number five, friendly salespeople. It's no secret Lennar trains their sales team to not only help you through their floor plans, but they train them to almost feel like they're your best friend and making you feel very comfortable. I have personally worked with a plethora of the Lennar sales team. Their sales and or listing agents are always friendly and do an excellent job at answering questions in a very timely manner. Okay, before we move on to the cons portion of this video, if you think you'd buy a Lennar home after hearing these top five pros, comment below. I wanna hear what you think about these five pros of a Lennar home. As I mentioned, I have five very important cons to consider when buying a Lennar home. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, these are my opinions as a new construction neighborhood expert. I wanna make sure you understand what you may not know about Lennar before you buy a home in one of their many communities. These are really important things to know. You should know the good and you should know the bad so that you can make a better informed decision. Con number one, their low prices. Yes, I did mention that as being a pro, but Lennar homes are priced usually less than the competition like DR Horton, Mungo, Beezer, Centex, or even True Homes. Did you know those low prices do dictate how your home is built and with what materials are used? In my experience, Lennar uses basic builder grade materials that do not reflect even what their competitors would define as builder grade. Not to mention, since they only use the same set of materials for almost all their homes, this really doesn't allow the neighborhood to have much differences in between a floor plan that sold for 295,000 and that same floor plan selling today for well over 405,000. What's the difference in options? Con number two, amenity center nightmares. A lot of my clients this past year who did move into a Lennar neighborhood did complain the fact that, hey, I'm paying an HOA and my amenity center's not done. When's it gonna get done? Do you, can you find out? And of course, you know, I essentially get the same stock answer. You know, we just don't know that it comes from corporate. You know, you get a very textbook answer. Some of my clients did get a bit frustrated by that. And if you live in a Lennar community, you either have a very overcrowded amenity center because the neighborhood is too big for the size of the amenity center, or your amenity center is still in the process of being built. There are a plethora of groups of home buyers that are beyond upset because they're either paying for the amenity center that hasn't been built yet, or their amenities are just overcrowded at this point. Either way, Lennar delays and delays the amenity centers with little to no explanation, and I think that's what frustrates people. Con number three, Lennar doesn't want you to have representation. Now, I, I say that because legally, you can have representation, 100%. It's just Lennar has, starting January 1st of 2022, Lennar decided as a corporation to pay only a third of what they paid buyer agents who would bring clients to Lennar to purchase a home, while their salespeople are still getting paid a reasonable commission. Um, you know, taking that away, it makes it hard for an agent to work with Lennar because they're getting paid much less than somebody sitting across the table um, when the agent does a lot of work throughout the process. It's, it's essentially saying you don't care about the people who bring clients to you and help sell your homes. It's, it's very unfortunate. And in any transaction, you have the seller's agent whose best interest is solely in with the builder, while you legally are entitled to a buyer's agent who has your back in case Lennar overpromises and under delivers. The job of the buyer's agent is to have your back and update you on the bill. I'm sorry to say this, but the seller's agent isn't going to be reviewing the agreement on your behalf. They're not going to help you shop your financing around for the best rate. They're certainly not going to update you through the build process and most importantly, assist you with the home inspections and repairs. They work for the builder. This means if you want someone on your side, you may have to pay them out of pocket. And believe me, Lennar does not care one way or another. Unfortunately, Zillow tried this method a couple of years ago and it crashed and burned. 
I don't know whose idea it was at Lennar to cut out the agent's reasonable commission, but Bernie Madoff had better business ideas. Con number four, Lennar is making sure they cover their <laughs> with delays. They have a whole supporting document that you'll sign essentially understanding that your home may not be complete in the time that they estimate. So don't plan doing anything. Don't do anything until they call you three to four weeks before and tell you to plan all of your major life decisions. As, as frustrating as that sounds, it's been difficult on some of my clients who were not only moving across country, but they weren't able to make all of the new home orientation um, because of the limited time frame, And they were given moments to get flights and fly here and book a hotel, you know, and a lot of them couldn't do that. So it's unfortunate that they're given um, under these delays that's been going on, that they're given those short time windows. Con number five, it's always a no. Having worked with a plethora of the Lennar agents in the past, they've told me they're essentially trained to say no. Can we change the color of the cabinet? No. Can we upgrade the flooring from laminate? No. The only time it's a yes is when it's been something that doesn't financially cost Lennar anything additional. Lennar also praises the motto, everything's included, but that's not true. Ask them if a fridge and freezer is included. So everything's not included? I, I, I don't get it. What about blinds? The blinds included? As promised, in the beginning, people always ask me, Ryan, who would you build a home with? Like, if you could pick a builder, who would this builder be? After explaining the pros and cons to Lennar, it's going to be a no for me. I'll explain why. As someone who moved here from out of state, I learned a few things. First, homes in track communities like Lennar neighborhoods rarely see a ton of equitable growth. The last two years have been crazy in the market, and I also want to be able to pick out certain selections. Maybe if a spec home had everything I wanted, I would buy it. However, I know Lennar isn't specking these houses out with hardwoods on both floors or backsplashes that go up to the ceiling, more custom style options that you'd expect to see from a home that costs in the mid 400s. Don't get me wrong, Lennar has some great people working for them, but their corporate headquarters is making some awful poor decisions and honestly, it's only going to affect Lennar's bottom line. Maybe this video and many more like it will help show Lennar the air in their ways. Want to know what builder I would build with? Stay tuned for my next pros and cons of the next builder I review. Give me a call days, nights, weekends, or even holidays. It doesn't matter. Just reach out. The only way I can help you find a home here, give me a call 843-226-5535. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap that notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you get notified. Once again, I'm Ryan McHugh, your neighborhood expert. Want to see available properties now? Go to www.buyfromrye.com and I'll be sure to see you next time.